Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Blood Elf Mage leveling campaign here leading up to Cataclysm. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. A couple of housekeeping items as we get going here. I sent myself some bags, so we now have 16 slot bags. Uh, I sent myself a little bit of gold, that's going to be useful as well. And I finally caved and I made, I got the uh, Tattered Dreadmist Mantle, the Heirloom Shoulders. Uh, now I didn't have enough to get the chest piece as well, but that's kind of okay. I, I don't really care for equipping the chest piece, mainly just aesthetically. I, I like seeing the character's look change at least a little bit as we level up. So, you know, maybe eventually I will grab the chest, maybe from uh, 70 to 80 would probably be a good time. And by then I should be able to farm up the 25 badges I need, no problem. But for now, we have the shoulders. It's a 10% increase experience from killing monsters and completing quests. So, you know, just a little bit of a boost. And obviously the stats on these uh, are going to be good for us as well. So, yeah, that is... The only stuff that I've done, bags and heirlooms. State your business. Keep your wits about you. Farewell. Shorelaran. Alright, what do we want to do in what order? We can come over to the Dead Scar. I kind of want to go over and do the Dead Scar first, mainly because I want to get into mining. And to get into mining, I do have to go into Silvermoon. So let's come over this way. We'll do this quest, and then we'll go into the city. And we'll learn mining. Uh, maybe we also do the roadside ambush. Yeah, if we grab this one that we can talk to the, uh, the instructor. He's over by Silvermoon as well. So yeah, let's do this one really quick. A little bit of a different order than how I usually tackle these. Victory lies ahead. Remember the Sunwell. Anaria Shola. Salama Ashalanore. Eternal sun guides us. Be ready for anything. All right, Ranger Jayla wants us to slay eight plagueborn pillagers. We will have justice. Right here nearby.
Well, we managed to aggro an entire chain of raw limb cannibals. I feel like they spawned right on top of us. Oh, that would be deadly. Let's not let them catch us. And let's try not to aggro anything else on the way. There we go. At least they leased pretty easily. I need to disable the add-on that tells me if gear is an upgrade or not. Uh, it's kind of broken anyway, and I, I don't really need it, and it's just kind of a little bit annoying to see the arrows and stuff. Let me see what is controlling that one. I think it's Pawn that controls that one. Uh, let's see. Taco tip is gear score and talents. Alright, yeah, let's do that. I need to just go and uninstall that add-on completely. Okay, let's head over to the instructor. We'll turn this in, we'll grab the follow-up, and then we'll head into Silvermoon and we'll grab the mining skill. And now that we've tattled on them, he would like us to go discipline them with his rod. We will have justice. And you can read whatever you would like into that one. Kind of wondering, do I have to learn the prospecting skill from the jewel crafter? Because I thought I should have a, a skill called prospecting that allows us to like tap the ore and then we break gems out of the ore. But I'm not seeing that in my spell book. So I'm thinking maybe that's something that I still have to train. If I go into jewel crafting... Yeah, there's nothing like that here, so it must be something that I train at some point. Severe. 
Alright, I think now we can just go ahead and hearth back to Falcon Wing Square. That's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think we need to do anything else here right now. We can check the Jewel Crafter back in town to see when we learn prospecting. Glory to the Sindori. Prospecting is learned at Jewel Crafting 20. Okay. Time is of the awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we need to turn on track minerals so that we can actually start mining stuff. And we're going to head out to the West Sanctum. We'll discipline the wayward apprentices on the way, as one does. You have been a very naughty blood elf. And so, taste the rod. Now you're a giant pig. I am going to be running all over the place collecting ore. I hope you guys don't mind. Mining can be a little bit of a challenge to level up. I, knew, I know that jewel crafting probably isn't going to be super easy to level, but it's going to be totally worth it. Once we're level 85 and we're doing Cataclysm Heroics and Raids, having jewel crafting, being able to make our own gems, being able to sell them on the auction house is going to be totally worth it. Oh, that's right. I forgot that in Cataclysm, or rather Wrath Onward, we get the mine, we get all of it in one hit. So we don't have to hit the node multiple times. Uh, that's very nice. I had actually forgotten all about that. That speed, speeds it up a lot, obviously, when you don't have to hit it two, three, four times each. Alright, we're heading out to the West Sanctum. But again, I'm gonna... anything I see on the minimap, we are gonna chase that copper. I'm pretty sure I can get eggs from the dragon hawks. I'm gonna try to fight a couple of these guys and just see if they drop eggs. And if they do, then I, I wouldn't mind killing some of them on the way for the bonus kill XP and to level up cooking a bit. I'm probably gonna have to do fishing. And if I do fishing, I'll probably do my fishing off recording. Because, you know, it's, it's fishing, so not really exciting. And these guys do drop eggs, that's awesome.
we have picked up some incriminating documents that starts a quest. Bring the documents to Eldon Sunbrand at Falcon Wing Square. I do see a chest up there, so we are definitely going to make our way up to the top of that building. I don't know that I've ever been up there, actually. Usually we just fight them down here and on the hills. Um, how does one... This is not a clickable object. What am I missing here? It's probably something like super obvious. Is there just not a way to get up there? That would be so weird. Because we literally saw an enemy and a chest. Maybe there's an outside way to go up. Maybe there's like an external ramp. It's gotta be what it is. Yeah, there's a there's a chest. There's got to be an outside ramp somewhere. Well, I'm really not seeing anything. It seems like that crystal would be a way to like interact with the crystal and then be teleported up to the top, but that didn't... the, the crystal and there was not a clickable object. So I don't know. Uh, we'll have one more look. I'm not gonna get too hung up on it. There's not gonna be like anything really amazing in the chest. Not at this level. It's just curious that they would put something in a place where no one could get to. I don't know, if you guys know, let me know in the comments, but from what I can tell, there's not a way to get up there. The eternal sun guides us. Stay the course. Salama Ashalanore. Oh, look at that. I never knew there was a bag vendor out here. Did you guys know there was a bag vendor? Not that we need bags, but... It's nice to know. We can definitely vendor some stuff. 
the lynx meat we can cook, we're gonna hang on to that. Uh, we could sell the small bag that we have. We will have oh, he doesn't even want that item. Okay, that's let's just trash it. Level 9, very nice. Sindori, keep your wits about you. Farewell. All right, so there is an alliance spy, and we have to go take care of him. Uh, do we want to do anything else? We'll hold off. We'll do some cooking and some jewel crafting in a little bit, but for now, we'll hold off and we'll keep questing. And there we go, that is the first of many severed heads that we will put into our inventory. That should be an achievement. First head looted. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's probably related to the plunder storm. We are going to go ahead and open it up. We got Pinchy the Plunderer. Okay. I mean, I don't usually have pets follow me around, but we'll let the little guy follow us for a bit. He's cool looking. He's got a bunch of loot. As one does. Oh, he's, he's a little too crazy, though. He's cute looking. Let's just appreciate how cute he is. Because we, we are going to have to maybe dismiss him. I don't even know how to dismiss pets. We have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, his movements are a little weird. That's a shame. Shorel Aran, 
we will have justice. And now we're being sent on to we Fairbreeze Village. Summer. We do have to go visit the instructor and return his discipline rod. And then we will be off. Anaria Shola, Shorel Oran, farewell. Some of you guys mentioned dungeons in the comments, and what I'll probably do, what I like to do, is that eventually, once we can queue for dungeons, I'd like to try to work in one dungeon per day. So like one dungeon an episode, you know, depending on the length of the dungeon, things like that, uh, could be good. I don't want to just grind dungeons, I really want to have a questing journey. So I, I don't want to do too many dungeons, and I don't want to, what I don't want to do is I don't want to outlevel the questing very much. I don't want to outlevel the questing. I don't want to be in like a weird position where like most of our quests are going gray and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll either do one a run or maybe we'll do a run every other episode. We'll figure out a good cadence for dungeons. And the other thing is, like, if we're doing too many dungeons to level up, then we're, we're definitely going to out-level. We're going to out-zone our mining. We really have to work on keeping mining up. And, you know, there, it's possible that I may have to spend a little bit of time off recording uh, doing the mining, and that would be okay if that's the case. I was just going to mention that it was good that we didn't have a lot of competition, and then a level 60 swoops in and steals the mining node. <laughs> oof. Big oof. Yeah, if we have to deal with stuff like that, that's going to make it a lot harder. I was kind of hoping that since the area is not like super populated that we'd have like free reign of the nodes, but if we got 60s or 70s or 80s running around trying to catch up their professions, then it could be difficult.
And I know some people wait to a higher level to work on that kind of stuff. I just don't really like doing it that way if I can avoid it. Alright, a bunch of quests to pick up, but let's see. The eternal sun we need six spring paw pelts. We will have justice. A new We're gonna find the wayward apprentice. We are gonna visit South Burial's Haven. Stay the The dark times will pass. Keep your wits about you. And we're gonna figure out what the situation is at the Sunsail Anchorage. Remember the sun will. Have some wretched thugs and wretched hooligans to take on. Do not loiter. Shurella we're gonna talk to Ranger Saren and see if we can help her out with anything. Anaria Shola, and we're gonna visit the Scorched the Grove. Uh, let's see. We could probably do a little bit of cooking here. We got 17 of these we can make. I don't know if I'm going to set my hearthstone here or not. It could be convenient, but it's almost more convenient to leave it back in Falcon Wing Square where I have access to some trainers. I don't think I have any trainers out here. And I don't think I could do my smelting here. Yeah, I need a forge. And I don't know if they are going to have a forge. Uh, you know what? This might This might be a forge. Yeah, it looks like one. Let's make all of these. I like at least like in Wrath of the Lich King how fast this moves. It's very nice. And then for jewel crafting, we can make delicate copper wires. And it looks like we'll be using those to make other things. And when we have enough rough stone, we can make these healing statues. We can make some spirit rings. If I had saved a copper bar, we could make an intellect ring. Let's just make the, uh... Well, let's see. Let's make one of these for now. And we'll go ahead and we'll equip it. Oh, we can't even use it yet. We need level 10. I wonder if it's better not to skill up off of this stuff, but to get as many skill ups as we can from making the delicate copper wire. And then once this goes green, then maybe we make some of the actual rings for skill ups. So I'm going to hold off on uh, making any more of these for the time being.
Victory lies ahead. All right, while we're over here at the anchorage, we need to recover six of the captain's cargo. We will have justice. State your business. Farewell. And we're looking for Sindori armaments. Remember the sun well. Look at this, we actually, we managed to go out of mana. Uh, in that case, maybe it's time to pull our conjure water out to the bar. It can happen, you can go oom. Um.
Well, that's it for the kill quest, and this will be it for the armaments. I think before we do anything else, we should turn these ones in. Uh, and before we tackle the murloc stuff, we will come over here and we will grab this murloc quest. But yeah, let's go turn in the armaments. Uh, we will work on, we need to work on getting the rest of the pelts on the way back to Fairbreeze Village. Anubilore Delana, the reckoning is at hand. Keep your wits about you. We will have justice. Oh, and we did hit level 10. Which means we can get into our talents here. If we go into the fire tree, we can reduce the cast time of fireball, we can reduce the cooldown of fire blast. Let's reduce the cast time of fireball. That seems like a good first step for a fledgling fire mage. Looks like our breadcrumb into the ghost lands became available at level 10. We will grab that, but we won't be following up on that for a while. The eternal sun guides us. Shoreloran, remember the sun well. That quest will take us out the far strider retreat. Which will also be a little bit later on. The dark times will pass. Farewell. Our enemies will fall. Remember the sun well. 
And Ranger Sarah needs a little bit of help defending the village. She wants us to slay four Rotlim Marauders and four Dark Wraiths. Uh, we'll do that later also. For now, let's hearth back to Falcon Wing Square. Uh, after we grab this mining node I just noticed. We'll hearth back, we'll train level 10, and we'll probably do a little bit of crafting. I see the note up there, I just wonder if I'm going to be able to get at it from this direction. This, yeah, that's a little too steep. Let's come around the long way, and maybe we can find a way up there. What do we get here? We get Arcane Missiles, Polymorph, Conjure Water Rank 2, Frostbolt 2, Frost Armor 2, and Frost Nova. Alright, that's really good. Now we have an add-on that's automatically putting the next ranks onto our bar, so we don't have to worry about Frostbolt 2. It's already out here. Fireball 2 is out. Frost Armor 2 is out. Uh, and we also got Conjure Water 2 is out. Let's drop these. We'll pull those out. A polymorph we'll put up here. And then Frost Nova will drag out onto the hot bar there. Alright, that should be good. We don't have anything we need to, You know what, we might be able to learn some new recipes though. Let's see. Baladash Malinore. A journeyman cooking, clams and coyote steaks. I thought there was a lynx recipe from somewhere. I remember being able to cook the lynx meat. Uh, maybe we should check some vendors. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I knew, I knew there was one. Let's learn that. We can also equip our ring. if we can find a forge out here somewhere. Yeah, I think maybe right over here. Before I smelt everything, well, we need one copper bar, so let's let's make our let's smelt. Let's do all the copper bars and then we'll make the intellect ring. I feel like we'd really benefit most from two of these, but they're unique, so yeah, we, we can't equip two of them. So we got one spirit, one int. That's perfect. Let's make the rest of those bars into delicate copper wire.
your wits about you. All right, guys, I think this is going to be the perfect time to take a little bit of a break for today. Thank you all very much for joining me. I truly do appreciate the support on this series. If you're having a good time, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, and ringing the bell, all that stuff really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world, and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.